For the longest time when I thought of a Lenovo laptop, the first thing that came to mind was the dull aging design of the ThinkPad line. And while the design of that line has improved lately, it's still not great. But whatever, that's off topic. My point is... This is the Lenovo Yoga C930, Lenovo's latest entry into the convertible notebook game. The design of this is one of the best in any Lenovo laptop. It's thin, it's light, it's modern. From the outside, it looks like an expensive new laptop. And when you open it up, you are greeted with a very sleek, well, hold up, hold up, pause right there. I want to briefly talk about opening it. First off, there is no lip or indentation to grab onto to make opening easier. Also, when I do get the display pried open, it's not quite a one-handed open. You kind of have to work with it a little. But whatever. Going back to the inside design. When you do get it open, there are two things that you're going to notice right away. The first is the speakers. Unlike any other laptop that I've used before, the speakers are hidden right inside the hinge. They're Dolby Atmos speakers, they sound great. Although I could use just a little bit more bass, but at that point I'm nitpicking. The second thing you are going to notice is the display. The model I have here is a 13.9 inch IPS 3840 by 2160 display. It's a wonderful display. I mean like, it's really good. But what are they doing with the Pixel phone level bottom bezel? The last thing to mention at the top is the little camera shutter. I love this thing. You don't have to worry about anyone spying on you because it physically covers the camera. So now you can stop cutting up sticky notes to put over your camera. The keyboard is also wonderful. It's something that you come to expect with any laptop from Lenovo. Apple should really take note. The keyboard is backlit too. It has two brightness intervals, dim and bright. And hey, yeah, there is of course a tablet mode. Just do a little awkward flippity flip and you've got yourself a tablet. But here's the deal with tablet mode. Using it is somewhat of an awkward experience. For one, the device is too big to hold with one hand, so you are limited to thumb movements. It also feels funky because of the keyboard on the back. Although keystrokes aren't registered in tablet mode, you still get the feeling that you might accidentally rip keys off. Another problem is that there is no apparent way of controlling the volume while using it as a tablet. I just want to point out that this is not just a problem with Lenovo convertibles. This also applies to literally every other convertible laptop maker, except for Microsoft and their Surface Book. Here's what Microsoft doesn't do though. Include a stylus. Yeah, Lenovo includes a stylus with a little slot to put it in. Kinda like a DS. But they really need to move the slot over to the side. I keep pressing the power button when I'm trying to get it out. Anyways, it has two programmable buttons on the side that you can set tasks to. For example, you can have one button switch to an eraser. Mine has this bug where it will randomly stop working and then just start drawing lines down the screen. I don't know if this problem only affects my device or if all of them have this problem. What I do know though is that it's annoying and I hope they can fix it. The port situation is not terrible. It has one USB type A, two Thunderbolt 3s, and would you look at that, a headphone jack. Let's briefly go over the specs on my review unit. To start, we have a Core i7-8550U, then we have 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Oh, and by the way, there is no dedicated graphics, so don't expect to do any video editing. You can also play some games like Minecraft and GTA San Andreas, but really that's about it. And by the way, the battery life is great. You could easily get through a whole workday. This particular model will run you about $1,700, but that's not even the highest you can go. The C930 maxed out will run you just over $2,000, and for a laptop that can't do any heavy graphics work, it seems a bit high. Otherwise, if you can snatch up a really good deal on it, I 100% would recommend the Lenovo C930 to anyone looking for a great Ultrabook. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review of the Lenovo Yoga C930. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up, and if you want to see some more of my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And finally, I want to thank Lenovo for allowing me to review their laptop and keep it for a while. Uh, but I do have to send it back, so there you go.